Oh, <laughs> hi, Rich Keeble here. Uh, welcome to Rich Runs dot 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 Manchester Marathon 2023. So this is the final episode, or is it? It is the final episode in my Manchester Marathon series of videos. Um, I'm sat here with Dale, or rather I was. He's uh, he's gone to get answer his phone. Uh, so we're in our Airbnb. Uh, in Manchester, which uh, seems very nice. Um, slightly bizarrely, the uh, housekeeper has um, got a wash on. So I'm not really sure what that means logistically. So uh, we travelled up uh, on the train from Euston. Actually had a, a double booking on the seats because an, an elderly couple got on and said, oh, you're in our seats. We were like, no. And it turns out technically we were because we all had the same seats. So anyway, luckily there were some seats opposite us. Um, but yeah, just been going through, uh, checking, I've got everything. So uh, I've got my race number, got my running top. Uh, I'm going to be wearing my bright Manchester top. Uh, just to remind myself that I've already run a marathon, you know, psychologically. Maybe remind some other people, you know, if they think I'm not doing very well. Just be like, well, I've done a marathon before. So yeah, I've got my, my underwear underpants, uh, I've got my shorts, I've got my cheat shoes, I've also got a pair of uh, fake Crocs to wear afterwards, uh, I've got my gels, uh, some protein bars for afterwards, uh, got my socks, running hat, um, running bottle and belt, so uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. So Dale and I are just going to pop over to uh, Pizza Express, I think, and uh, maybe have a pasta dish, or maybe just have a pizza. You know, you don't have to just eat pasta, do you? I think we'll just avoid kebabs and curry, that sort of thing. And then maybe get an early night, have a bit of peanut butter breakfast for the morning, head down there, do the thing, smash the marathon. I thought I might have to get Megabus back for a job on Monday, but that's not happening now. So uh, yeah, we're staying over Sunday night as well. Uh, just to really give the legs a nice, a nice bit of a recovery period. Maybe we'll treat ourselves to a nice curry or something uh, after the marathon. But anyway, that's tomorrow or several days ago for you. The magic of television. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks. So this is it, we're doing it. We're off to get the tram to go and run the Manchester Mouth.
Oh, there he is. about four kilometers time. Hopefully, that's not gonna happen today. Marathon, is it? Oh. So at this point in Brighton, 
26k I had to walk so I'm officially doing better than Brian Thank you so much. 
Oh, look at that. It's decent. That's the best beer in a minute. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely over the moon. So good. Oh, didn't stop. Didn't stop. So good. So much better than last time. Oh. Oh. Oh, sub 340. So good. Oh, <laughs> hi there. Uh, so we're just back at the um, apartment. Uh, Dale was just on the phone to his missus, I think. So I thought I'd do a little. A little debrief. Well, I've just had a shower, so's Dale. Not together. I mean, that was a pretty good race, to be honest with you. So if you followed my, um, if you followed my training for this marathon, uh, you'll know that I had a bit of a month off in December, January, because of this Achilles-related issue. So I kind of had to build up again, and I ended up just doing a 12-week plan. You may have seen the video where I looked at the race predictors and uh, yeah, sort of ignoring the ones that just extrapolate based on a 5K time. I was looking at the Garmin and Metathon. We're both saying I was in about sort of 340 shape. So I thought, you know what? Let's try and go for 340. I've been training at sort of goal marathon pace of about 450 uh, minutes per kilometre, which is what I was sort of running in those um, chunks in the 20 mile race I did a few weeks ago. Um, and I was feeling okay, but I thought, well, you know what, let's, let's not go crazy. Let's, let's not go for three and a half. Let's go for 340 and maybe 345 as a, as a plan B. And then plan C would just be beating my Brighton time, which was 353. Now, the important thing here is that I actually had a plan, which I didn't have for Brighton. So for Brighton Marathon, I was aiming for sub four, which I knew was about five and a half minutes per kilometer. I thought, oh, I'll aim for 5.27 to give me a bit of comfort, but I ended up just going out and running faster than I should have done. And at about 25K, I blew up, as they say, and I had to walk a bit. Yeah, I walked about five times, I think, in Brighton. So I would walk at the water station, jog a bit, walk at the water station, and then, yeah, 20 miles onwards, my brain was just telling me to stop. Uh, I remember at Brighton, my brain was literally just saying, nah, you don't have to do this. Doesn't matter. Just stop. And of course, this is in the final 10K when of course there's people lying on the floor and people walking and it's just like, oh God, what am I doing? Sub four, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if I don't finish it. Ugh. So today I thought, yeah, I'll run at 5.10 and if it gets too hard, I'll just take my foot off the gas. I'll keep an eye on the 3.45 pacer so I saw the 3.45 paces in my wave, but I went for a quick wee-wee before we started and they were kind of, I was further back, so I kind of lost them. But I caught up to them and then just sort of slowly overtook them and then thought, well, if I could stay ahead of them, that's good. But yeah, what was different about today is that, so in Brighton I had a, I had the vest on with the, with the water in the bladder um, and I was just drinking didn't really know how much was in there and at about 25k or 26k I actually ran out of water and I was a away from a water station. In Manchester I had just a bottle in a belt and they were giving out little bottles they were giving out more water per water station for starters so it actually got to a point where I could just happily take a bottle um, chuck a load of it over my head drink a load of it top up my bottle so I always knew I had plenty of water and they were giving out the gels. Another important point is that I stuck to a plan with the gels. Today, I took my first gel at 45 minutes and then I took one every 30 minutes after that. Just, and it just kept me going. Went through the 20 miles, didn't hit the wall. Let's be honest, it was getting tough by the last 10K. The last 5K was pretty hard. And of course, you know, you're all, you know but the watch was out, the GPS, was about 200 meters out so it's like okay well I've actually got you know 
five and a half K left. But yeah, when I when I figured out three K from the end, that even with a little bit of extra uh due to the GPS, I thought, well, yeah. Um, I reckon I could sneak in under 140 and yeah a, a kilometer to go yeah just keep it going and luckily I had I had it in the tank to go um, so absolutely felt elated when I finished and I don't feel too bad my legs don't feel too fucked up to be honest with you didn't have any stomach issues like I did after Brighton after Brighton I really had to rush to the toilet we had a burger and chips we managed to squeeze on the first tram that came along a bit tricky getting down the steps if we're honest it's about six o'clock now we're gonna go out and have a, a curry i think and then just yeah sleep really well and head back tomorrow but yeah absolutely over the moon so there you go following a plan really helps if you go out too fast then the marathon will fuck you in the ass Plan. It definitely helped psychologically the fact that I had already run a marathon. You know, running a marathon knowing you've done it before, I think really helps. I think your body remembers that. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you think I should do more of these videos, uh, do let me know in the comments and I will respond to you as quickly as I can because, you know, sometimes I just think, well, shall I bother doing any more? I don't know. But if you'd like to see more, I will do more. Let me know in the comments if you did Manchester Marathon, uh, how well you did, if you were happy with it. And uh, let me know if you can see yourself in the video. And uh, follow me on Strava, follow me on the socials. And let's, let's have a chat. Let's hang out. Not in real life, obviously. Thank you.